Welcome to the example. My name is Devin. In this video, me, Mike, and Israel discuss the importance of respecting authority. We got issues in society about being in authority. Authority. So how are we, how are you guys, like with your mentorship and with you know your children, how are you teaching the kids just your the truth how to respect authority? I'll start with you, though, Mike. Um, you know, I think uh, with, first of all, recognizing authority, mm -hmm. because there's different forms of it. So it's a matter of knowing, um, the recognizing the type of authority in, in your, your um, environment mm -hmm. is the word I was looking for. Um, and it's just a matter of, it, it goes back to, you know, it goes back to everything else we talked about, being a man, being responsible, or, or a woman, and... Uh, recognizing that authority is put there for whatever reason mm -hmm. so it's more so it's almost like putting yourself on the flip side of things what if I was that authoritative figure what would I expect or what would I do now the thing about it is I, I think sometimes it's a, it's a little it's a little touchy uh, with authority because a lot of people abuse authority mm -hmm. And so that's where it comes into, that's even bigger where it comes in, can you respond responsibly? You know, yeah, can you be Can you be the man in the situation? Uh, you know, a little sidebar that we talked about earlier, you know, with authority in, in terms of even just law enforcement, you know. Um, yeah, because a lot of, you know, we hear a lot of black men getting the, getting the issues with, you know, uh, the police. And, you know, we know that there's situations, bad cops, good cops out there. But... In situations where you know there's that authority, like I think what you were saying was about how you gonna make it home, right? You know, or can you expand on that? Right. Like you were saying. Well, yeah, you know, this is one of those things. You know, I've I've had situations. I'm a black man, and, and it's not it's not to uh, I'm a black man in America, so it's not to um, try to make it something that is not. You gonna have those situations. I've had bad experiences with cops. And I've had great experiences with cops. So for me, I think in terms of the, the respect that I'm going to give authority from the get, from the jump is I don't have a preconceived notion. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I expect you to treat me with the same respect I'm going to give you anyway to start. And I think sometimes that may be an issue. Not always, because a lot of the times what we see is not that, but... What kind of what we're talking about is, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to respect you, first of all, as a grown man, yeah. <laughs> you know, because if I was just talking to, if I was, if, if we weren't in this setting and we just ran across each other, how you doing? How you doing? Okay. So I can give the authority at least the same starting point. Yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> now when you abuse your authority, that's different. But I think it's a matter of recognizing, just recognizing authority. Um, too many times you're expecting something whether we're talking about our the children in school and it's, it's one of those things where uh we're confusing authority with respect like you know uh you gotta respect me you know or I, you know and it's not necessarily it's not necessarily one of those things i'm disrespecting you if i'm doing my job mm -hmm. i'm disrespecting you if i'm trying to teach you math because it's math class <laughs> you know disrespecting you <laughs> Because I pull you over for doing 75 and a 40. Yeah. So, again, at the base, I'm talking about the base level of everything because we're talking about being responsible, being an example here. So, at the base level of everything is I'm going to treat authority with the respect that they deserve, with the respect that they deserve from the jump. That means now I'm not putting myself in a situation that I got to dig out of. So, whether it's the, whether it's law enforcement, uh, whether it's the boss at my job, my manager, my owner, whoever it is at my job, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, if you're in a church setting, no matter what it is, I'm treating you with the respect that you deserve for the title that you hold from the start. And we, and from there, you navigate. <laughs> because now at that point, I still have to, when you get out of line, I've had this situation happen with law enforcement. When you get out of line and you abuse your authority, I still have to act within myself to make sure that I cover my bases. Mm -hmm. Because any any anything that I can give you is fueled to the fire. Yeah. So it's like, I'm just gonna throw oil, more oil on this fire 
and I'm just going to incite, the, you know, excite the situation, and I can't get out of it now. So you know, I can't get home. So I think that's that's really the important thing of that is, um, you know, recognizing authority and what are they there for? I think that's the biggest thing. A lot of times we're not recognizing what that authoritative figure is put there for. Because if you're a student and you're in school, that teacher is there to teach. If the teacher teaches, let the teacher teach. Right. You know, um, office of the law, if you're speeding and they stop you, then okay. I don't have a problem with that. I was speeding. Right? Um, you know, so many other authoritative figures we can think of, but any situation, no matter what it is, like I said, it's, it's recognizing what they're there for and letting them do their job. Good, good. Brother, good. Well, is it, is it, oh, that's, that's, that's hard to follow because when I, when I consider that, uh, that question, I think about authority and the connotation of it, the connotation, the meaning or the purpose of it, and how so many times it gets distorted. Like you said, people have different meaning. And the first thing that a lot of people want to want to take from authority is you, you, you want to have rule over me. Yeah. You, you want to, you, 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 you want to boss me. But authority is someone who watches over you. He's been empowered to have a watchful eye for you. Simple as that. The teacher have authority over you. The parent, we have, a, we have authority over our children. The pastor, pastor have authority over the flock. He's, a, he has, he's watching out for us. The police are watching out. And they tell you on the side of the car that really their objective is to protect and to serve. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, like you say, now now you get into the area where they they, they misabused the authority, and and and, and then it, and that is so sensitive, it's, it's so deep, and it's so detrimental the the misabuse of a thing because now you talk about uh, child molestation. A lot of the child is 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 done by people in a, who have authority, mm -hmm. and so they use their authority to 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 they carry know. out yeah malicious and heinous acts. And so, because they have, but they they've been empowered to to watch over, simply to watch over you. But they misabuse it, and now they 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 do they 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 act out in carnal in a carnal way. And so, and of course, the results are, are detrimental because it, it it's deep, and sometimes it it, it causes cycles, generational uh, disposition. So, where can we find that balance of you know watching those that? take advantage of those that they are over in the respect for authority. Where is that balance? Where can we find it? Well, you can find it in, uh, first of all, you have to understand, you have to understand authority. You have to, you have to understand simply authority is not there to hurt me. They are there, they are there to help me. The, the law, the speed limit is not there to harm you. It's there to help you stay within the, the uh, safe speed. The law is not there to hurt you; it's there to help you. Laws are not for laws are not for lawbreakers. Mm -hmm. I mean, laws are there for lawbreakers. They're they're there for people who break the laws, who people don't who can't distinguish right from wrong. Yeah. The law, so the laws are not there to hurt you. They're they they they're, they're there to keep you in boundaries, a safe boundary. That's why we got the Ten Commandments. If you don't have law, if you don't have authority, you have chaos. You have chaos. You have you 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 don't have no standard. You don't have no plumb line. You you don't know what's 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 wrong, what's right. You have a, a sense of perversion come. It's and, subjective. Everything's subjective. You know, I do what I want. They, whatever in my head, I do. You can't tell me what to do because everything's subjective. But when you have that standard, you know, then you can that you can look to that, and then the people. Um, follow the, that are in authority, follow that standard. And I believe if you follow that standard, you know, then there's a less ability, less chance for people to be taken advantage of. But when you follow things in your own mind, where everything's just subjective, then that's, I believe that's when the authority gets, uh, take, people take advantage of that authority. And that's, 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 a, that's a good way to look at it. And so uh, it go back. It go back to what he's saying: the the misabuse of, of a thing, uh, authority. But you have to understand authority. You have to understand the purpose of authority. You have to understand uh, that your position in humanity, in society, you're going to be put in a position of authority too. 
So you want to respect authority, and because you go, you want people to respect you when you're yeah. in your place of authority, yeah. especially especially if you're an entrepreneur. Just you know what I'm saying. And so uh, if you are educated, if you if you're gonna you're gonna be put in uh, positions of authority. And so uh, the, the 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 fine line in there is basically uh, knowing that uh, I have a responsibility to be a good citizen. And, and in that responsibility of being a good citizen, I, I know that there's, there's there's repercussion and consequences to my actions. And so, if 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 I if I if I can come up on the authority that that headship, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing to worry about. Now, like you say, then uh, there, there there's some bad authority. There or there's some authority that's been that is misused. And then you have to really rely on who you are as an individual mm -hmm. and making good decisions because now. If you subjugate me to something that that I know is wrong and you know is wrong, what's going to be my behavior? Because now I'm, I'm provoked to behave in a certain way, but now I have to rise above that circum my circumstances. Yeah. Because if I make the wrong decision, I'm going to walk away, either going to jail, beat or shot, <laughs> or I'm going away with a lesson. Yeah. With a lesson that I can teach my son, I can teach my daughter. Based on the decision that I made, I was able to walk away. I wasn't. We look at all the examples, mm -hmm. which is the name of this 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 segment. We look at all the examples: Eric Garner, Trayvon White. We look at people who have decisions have resulted in the, to them getting killed. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at uh, uh, the, the the young man who was with uh, Castillo. It was with his girlfriend that got shot. Lando. For Lando. And so we look at the the, the, the brother who was selling CDs. And so uh, so now they, a lot, you know, a lot of, it, it, is, it isn't, or it wasn't what they was doing. Uh, and they still ended up dead. And in that situation, that's why I say a lot of times, you know, you, you're giving respect to authority. But at the same time, when, a, when authority is abused, it's just a matter. I also have the responsibility for that to Mir Rice, who couldn't speak for himself, to be able to speak truth to power. Because mm. that's important too, as men. Mm. Because it's it's easy for us to it's easy for us to be a man and respect authority, but what happens when authority abuses the very privilege that they have is just being a matter to it's it's a matter of being able to speak truth to power to say, look, I don't support that. And it's being able to give people a voice who don't who don't have a voice. Because in those examples that you gave, again, those are situations. And my situation that I had, you know, I've shared my testimony many times, negative experience with the cops. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> and so I followed through and did some things. And they, you know, they uh, certain disciplinary acts supposed to take place in those cops. I don't know. But I was just doing my part. So now you abuse your authority. I'm still a man. So I'll be able to speak truth to power. But I still act with them because a lot of times you you don't know at the end of the day. Sometimes you can do everything right and still don't know if you're gonna make it home. So that's the thing too. It's not turning a blind eye to when authority is abused, but it's making sure that again, like I say, my approach is from the start of this interaction, I'm gonna give you the respect that you deserve. I just want the same thing. But I because I didn't I didn't I'm not going into it expecting something that I'm not gonna give you. Let me stop it right now. I'm going to pause. I want to make sure we have time to respond to that. Let me make sure we have time. 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 All right. We have five minutes. I want to respond to that. So, um, all right. That was good. So, let me ask you this. Um, what if it gets out of hand and, you know, how do, how do you respond? You have to, are we supposed to have a, to take the higher ground and respond. For example, you know, the kind of give me, you know, uh, but, they're being a but. Mm -hmm. And so I continue to respond in that respectful way, but I know that at the end of the day, I can take it to, you know, my, my lawyer or whatever, and if I'm recording it, you know, maybe I can sue, but I'm gonna always maybe be respectful. What do you think about that? Or do we, or do you advise? What, what do you, I mean, what, you what's just, the best answer? I mean, you just said it. Yeah. You know, I, I I do whatever I can in my power to follow through 
to let justice be served. Yeah. But I'm gonna still, you know, I'm gonna still stay in my place because I, I don't want to say stay in my place because that seems like you know it's it's almost dumbed down. But it's I'm gonna. I'm gonna to try to do all I can again to be a man about it to make it home to my wife. Yeah, and that's so what I want to make sure that's conveyed. Right. right. In the situation sure. that happened with me, um, it was a situation where property was stolen from me. Mm -hmm. You're coming to protect and serve, but you're getting an attitude with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, really irate, and the whole time I, I I continue to talk just like this and mm -hmm. just asking questions. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, too, I, a real important thing that uh, I, I don't think we mentioned uh, this whole time is knowledge. There you go. It's important for it's important for the next year ourselves to keep growing and to continue to get knowledge. We need to know the law. Yeah, that's right. The law is different in every state, so we need to know the law. Um, so in my situation, that's what happened. You know, I continue to be calm and. The officers, you know, uh, use profanities and different things. And so finally what I had to do was just say, okay, I'm just going to, in my situation, I was able to call the supervising officer while we were still there, while the officer stepped away to write a report. Mm -hmm. And so again, me, I said, I'm just going to follow that protocol now. I had to take time out of my day more than one time to follow this up, make complaints mm -hmm. and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my that was my manly responsibility, what mm -hmm. I thought I should do. Now it shouldn't have never happened to me in the first place, mm -hmm. but I'm a lot I'm a lot to tell about. It. So in your situation, yeah, you gotta you gotta always maintain you gotta try to always maintain the high ground. Yeah. Especially when you see that it's an idiot that's just gonna abuse their power. That's right. Because right. you got a lot of you got a lot of ex bullies on the on the force. I mean, a, a lot of ex-bullied on the force. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of ex-military with all kind of PTSD on the force. You got a lot of good and bad people on the force that are now out there protecting and serve. So again, you gotta you gotta know you gotta know from the start and throughout the process what's my end goal. My end goal is to get out of the situation alive. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a guarantee? No, it's still not. <laughs> but like you said, it's. I'm gonna take the high ground yeah, and maintain on. my. Yeah. I'm gonna maintain my level of respect, and I'm trying to get out of the situation. Thanks for tuning in to the example. Comment below and join the conversation. Subscribe and check out our other videos. God bless.